Earlier this year, the FDA announced it is cracking down on the illegal sales of disposable e-cigarettes. But the former drug czar for the United States says data shows vapes coming into the country illegally are a bigger problem. Our Sally Hernandez sat down with the ex-director of the National Drug Control Policy for a closer look at the feds cracking down on vaping and the Texas law cracking down on kids using them. Is the FDA doing enough then to stop these devices from coming into the country or to get them out of the hands of kids? Now, the FDA has started the process, but sadly, what I'm concerned about are the number of kids that are dying until the FDA takes more aggressive action. And quite frankly, until stores stop putting this on their shelves, the government needs to step in. The government needs to get these devices not only off the shelves of stores, but they need to block these disposable vaping devices coming from China, from even getting into our country. These disposable vaping devices, if they're coming into the country illegally, we have no earthly idea what's in them. Not only is nicotine in it, at dramatically, we're talking 10 times higher than a cigarette or another vaping device, but what we're seeing are these things that are coming in with contaminants and now sadly, we're seeing reports, including right there, you know, in Austin and the Hayes County Sheriff talking about reports that these vaping devices, these disposable vaping devices have fentanyl in it. Um, Jim, I want to ask you about this new state law that lawmakers just passed out of the Texas legislature. And what it does is penalizes students who are caught for the first time vaping and sends them to alternative school. What do you think about that? Yeah, sadly, I don't think that kids necessarily understand the dangers. Um, and I certainly, you know, believe that we need to take aggressive action to make sure, you know, that these don't wind up in the hands of kids. But kids don't understand the dangers. I mean, when you look at the way they're marketed and you see cartoon characters and they're sold in, you know, crazy kid flavors, you know, tutti frutti and all these, you know, things that are really designed to attract kids, kids don't understand, you know, what they have. And so the most important thing is messaging because these kids are carrying around a product that they don't even understand that it's dangerous. And with a new law, they don't understand, you know, that it's something that could really penalize them. Hey, Jim Carroll, thank you so much. The former director with the National Drug Control Policy. I appreciate your time.